The bar and nightclub show has transformed into the bar and restaurant expo. Jason Residlo has more from the red carpet in Las Vegas. Hey guys, I'm Jason Residlo, reporting from the Las Vegas Convention Center for the 2022 Bar and Restaurant Expo. Come along with me as we go for a tour. All of the fun and excitement began with the celebrity red carpet. Former NASCAR driver and Las Vegas native Brendan Gaughan cut the ribbon to kick off the event. He currently operates a distillery which produces the City Light Shine Moonshine. Here are attendees getting samples at their booth. Talk about going from a NASCAR driver into the distillery business. Yeah, bad cliche is what it is. Very bad cliche. A NASCAR driver and a NASCAR official who allegedly made moonshine. Well, I mean, allegedly. Once again, I got to keep that key word in there. But uh, we we left NASCAR. We came back to my hometown, and we make we opened a distillery. I mean. Don't know how we got here, honestly, some days, but we, we've weathered the storms. Anybody that's in the bar and restaurant business, look, the last two years has been trying. And if you're still in it and you've still dug, you've worked your butt off. So any one of those companies here, we're proud to say we're one of them. We survived it, we come out the other side, and we're, we're, we're strong, and being here for us is huge. More than 400 suppliers showed off their new products during the Bar and Restaurant Expo. This is a new point of sale, or POS, machine. Student Glass showed off their new gravity infusers for both cocktails and food. It is a rotating glass infuser that can be used to smoke a beverage or snack. This is the Student Glass gravity powered smoke infuser. So this bad boy works with food and beverages to smoke them with different types of wood chips. So you put wood chips in on one side and then using gravity and water displacement as you flip it, it's going to push the smoke out into our custom cloches and smoke a really nice cocktail for you, smoke some food for you. It's very versatile. Now what types of food can you put in there? My personal favorite is a really nice cheese, but um, raw vegetables pick up the smoke really nicely, breads pick up the smoke really nicely. Cold cuts pick up the smoke really nicely. Um, and then my personal favorite drink to smoke out of it is like a jalapeno margarita. Um, so it gives it like a really nice extra smoke on top of that spice. Um, but it works great with whiskeys, tequilas, really um, anything that you can add that smoky flavor to. Attendees were able to try free samples of beers, wines, spirits, frozen drinks, and energy drinks, too. Savvy Canvas and LG introduced me to their new technology, which makes it easier to manage sports viewing on large TVs and screens. It features custom layouts for each bar or restaurant and requires virtually no training. We want to make people's lives easier to control all their uh, technology in their bar. Displays, audio zones, digital signage, all of that. We, we want to change to make their whole lives a whole lot easier. What do you got here today? What's the technology? Uh, so we actually partnered with, uh, with uh, LG. So we have a combination and their software lies on our commercial displays. And so what we have here is we have um, a map view that you can have a whole map layout of everything in their bar and we can give them metadata too. So we can show what's playing on the displays, we can switch out different layouts. If I wanted to do L brackets and digital signage, I can do that. Um, I can break just straight up uh, digital signage content. Uh, we also do uh, health and statistics on all our gear. So you can log in and see exactly what's playing on the displays, get the health, monitoring, all of that. So that way, a lot of times in commercial, these displays are on 24 hours, sometimes 18 hours. You want to make sure that gear is well taken care of. There were also free snack samples, such as tater tots, chips and salsas, french fries, and even garnishes like cherries. 
traditional companies like Heineken Beer, White Claw Hard Seltzer, and Sunkist also had booths at the BRE. These color-changing trees drew lots of attention. So uh, how's it feel to be the Grand Marshal this year? Yeah, you know, I mean, look, I've, I've, I'm born and raised here. I mean, the, the, the nightclub and bar show, you know, was always a big deal. So when they, when they rebranded bar and restaurant and made it as big as it is, um, it was an honor, honestly. I mean, come on, look at the greats that have done this before me. I mean, Taffer's done it, Jenny McCarthy's done it. So these are big names to follow. And, and for them to ask me to do it, was a great honor, uh, especially for my little bitty company. You know, I mean, we're just a we're just a little local distillery here in Vegas that we happen to make a moonshine. It's like, you want us here? So for us, it was awesome. They gave us a boost space. We're excited, man. Look at all these people. If 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 one five percent of these people like our stuff and go buy it, this is successful for me, and I love being here. The bar and restaurant expo is back less than six months from the 2021 event, which was delayed due to COVID-19 concerns bring you the best of California. From the 2022 Bar and Restaurant Expo in Las Vegas, I'm Jason Rosidlo for California Life.